As Western governments continue to push the creation of domestic supply chains of critical minerals closer to home, I'm joined with Defense Metals President Dr. Luisa Moreno to discuss the exciting developments of their rare earth deposit. Luisa, welcome. Hi, Brandon. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm excited to have you on here. Now, you just had some very exciting news. I want to start off first by the news of Defense Metals shipping samples of mixed rare uh, earth oxide and mixed rare earth carbonate to interested parties. Can you elaborate on this milestone for your company? Well, this is very, very important. So uh, we completed the pilot plant um, uh, of our hydrometallurgy um, uh, process flow sheet. And we had also completed uh, one uh, for for the flotation, uh, and, um, and now with all the samples, we were ready to to start working with potential uh, end users, and 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 we had engaged them. Uh, many have reached out uh, independently, uh, and we uh, managed to then prepare uh, the samples um, and 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 send it. Uh, so that's essentially. Uh, what we uh, have done uh, after uh, the pilot uh, pilot um, work, so it's it's very exciting. It's very exciting. Uh, we look forward to qualifying uh, our product. That is a, a very important stage as we develop uh, and form firm up really our uh, flow sheet uh, here as we advance the pre-feasibility study. Yeah, I appreciate that. And I'd like to talk a little bit more about uh, that flotation, about the program that you're using earlier, or you just announced earlier. You just completed an extensive uh, comminution and beneficiation test on variability samples from your Richita rare earth deposit. Uh, you talked about them very briefly there. What are these tests for maybe someone who's never heard of them before? And why were their findings so significant? It's extremely significant. Uh, so people usually don't think about the beneficiation as much, or even metallurgy, when you talk about gold. Uh, or copper, but uh, folks that have been following copper and are, for instance, um, uh, aware of how uh, it's processed, they would know that copper can be found uh, at low concentrations as well, just like the rare earth, um, as low as 1%, uh, in as high as sometimes uh, 3% or 4 in, in the DRC and other places. But one initial stage usually is the production of a high mineral copper concentrate, uh, which varies anywhere from uh, the low 20s to the to, to the low 30 in percentages uh, of total uh, copper. And, um, and so that is acceptable. Nobody would ever think, are oh, we going to be processing copper off the ground at 1%, uh, you know, because it just would not be economic. And so for the rare earth is a similar situation. If folks were to study uh, the current uh, producers of rare earth, they will see that uh, they initially concentrate through beneficiation uh, the mineral to upgrade their grades uh, from two, three, five, eight percent in the case of uh, mountain pass uh, in the US to a higher uh, mineral concentrate to improve. Uh, the, the the economics um, once it goes to their the hydrometallurgy uh, plant. So the significance of us being able to produce this high grade mineral concentrate is because, in that sense, we are near 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 par, near at the par with the uh, with the current uh, producers as far as uh, improving our economics, as far as having that mineral concentrate, and. Uh, compared to many other projects out there, um, that is a significant uh, milestone. Now, you also recently announced commencing your phase two infrastructure sonic. Uh, you've got open pit, uh, geotechnical and exploration target core drilling as well. How is all this work going and what do you hope to achieve with these programs? The geotechnical work is, uh, is very important. So, so it gives us information about the potential uh, when we basically um, build the open pit mine uh, what will be uh, the integrity of, the, of that mine. So that is very uh, important for safety. And you also help us understand uh, the ground where uh, tailings will be set up and, and, and plants. So uh, it's very important. It's part of our pre-feasibility study. And as we advance for bankable, uh, that information is going to be really critical. 
Yeah, fantastic. And thank you once again. Now, talking about the market in itself, I know you were current, uh, you were formerly an analyst in this space. What are your thoughts on your current market cap, but more specifically as well on the overall junior market as a whole? Yes, I believe our market cap is um, is, is quite low, uh, as well as most uh, junior mining companies. I mean, there's very good projects that out there in the junior mining space, whether it's gold, lithium, graphite, and it is just such a, a great buying opportunity, you know. Uh, so I'm just looking at my own uh, investments and, and see and think what I should sell in order to get in into the junior market. Mm -hmm. And when you look at rare earth companies, Defense Metals is in, in very good, um, attractive level for uh, for investors to, to to enter, or for those that are already in the stock to accumulate a little bit more because it's is really prices of the, the stocks uh, for junior mining is really uh, depressed. So in that sense, I think it's a, it's, it's a great uh, opportunity to for, for investors. Yeah, well said. And I, I, I'm right with you as well, as well. I look at my portfolio and I think, man, there are some very, very good companies in here, but it's the market that we're given. But that also mm -hmm. gives opportunity, just like you just said there. And speaking of opportunity and looking into the future, lastly, what should investors be excited about and looking forward to coming from your team as we round off the last calendar quarter of this year? Right. So as I said, so we did all the all the drilling. So there shouldn't be any more drilling results. Uh, our stock always performed very well with the drilling results because we have some, such large, uh, you know, deep intersection intersections, a relatively high grade. Um, but uh, we're not going to be seeing that now because everything has been done and handed in to to the engineers, SRK in this case, and they are uh, doing the all the modeling uh, for the mine uh, for the pre-feasibility study. So. Uh, we might have some uh, additional news on the metallurgy, so we might go back and uh, do a few more fine-tuning tests that Hatch, uh, the engineering firm looking after the metallurgy, they may request, and um, and we may then update the market on some additional uh, hydro metallurgy uh, tests. Uh, as well as part of the pre-feasibility study is really our relationship with First Nations, which has been fantastic. So we should update the market further on that, and we will continue updating the market on the progress um, of, uh, of our pre-feasibility study. But in terms of results, fortunately, we have um, gathered all the results that, uh, that we need uh, for, uh, for the pre-feasibility study. But we will try and put some um, general updates to the market um, as we approach um, our internal deadline to complete the pre-feasibility study. Oh, perfect. And, and thank you once again for uh, for all that information and excited to hear as well. Well, Louisa, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate uh, you coming on here and speaking more about your company for both your current investors, but also new investors uh, seeing this company for the first time or hearing it once again. Uh, for anybody who wants to find out more information, you can just go right down there. There's a link to your website. Louisa, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you for having me. It was great talking to you.